Hello everybody, we're here at Max Medical Center and here with Kenny who just uh, underwent the uh, 1500 graft uh, procedure. We're actually in the middle procedure, uh, we done with harvesting and now he had a nice lunch with some burger, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Had a burger. Okay, <laughs> but something close to that. So, and uh, uh, share your experience. Zero pain. Um, the entire stack is great here at the top of the day. Um, I was expecting to need pain last night, but zero pain. The only, the only, the only bad thing about it is it's actually sitting around. So I'm super hyper, but other than right. that, the worst part of it is just sitting in one place for the amount of time right. they're doing the procedure. That's about it. But the second part of the procedure, you're going to be sitting in a chair like this, very comfortable watching TV. He can, he can pick up the show he wants to see and you know and we'll be done very soon so so far so good so thumbs up yeah great so what are we doing now we're creating a customized um, drawing of the patient skull we did design it this way that the robot will calculate the precise distance between the decisions Okay, there are tiny incisions less than one millimeter. And they are created even coverage for the area where we're gonna implant the eyes on. So far everything looks beautiful and we are ready to start in just a few minutes. I can create certain areas with increase or decrease density. For example, in Kenneth's case, he has a better hair density, pre-existing hair density in the area number two. He needs some more hair follicles to be added to these areas. And the, with the software, and uploaded images taken uh, just a few minutes ago from Kenneth's pulp, we did create those areas to be more dense in comparison to those with pre-existing hair. The nice thing about robotic system, it will recognize the hair follicles of the patient and will try to avoid them uh, to be damaged just because the camera is so precise with it, um, the recognize the distance of the microns and they place those incisions exactly in between the uh, two pre-existing hair follicles, those minimizing damage to the scalp of the patient. So here's the actual side making. As you can see, the green dots show the hair follicles that Artas robot was able to recognize and will avoid it with incision making. There is a very tiny knife that goes inside the skin and it calculates the precise distance between follicles. For example, here this number shows how many incision sites were created up to that, up to now it's 961. Um, it has a precise angle of uh, the hair and the density of the hair that we can control from here. So all the aspect of uh, the art of creation, those incision sites can be controlled through the computer interface. And there is no match to human hand that, uh, that the robot can do. The worst thing about losing my hair is looking older. I chose the artist system because I didn't want the scar in the back of my head. I chose Dr. Chumak because he came highly recommended from a good friend of mine named Jackie Olson. Look forward to having my hair back so that I'll look younger. If I had a friend that was losing hair, I would recommend they come to the Maxim Medical for the artist procedure.